still a lot of finger pointing by Democrats in reference to what they call a lack of action after mass shootings. Now, there was a glimmer of hope for Uvalde family victims as a committee pushed forward a gun reform bill that still has a small chance of passing the House. Two days after eight people were killed and others injured by a gunman at an Allen outlet mall, Democrat lawmakers didn't hold back in pointing fingers at Republicans. I'm sorry, you can take your thoughts and prayers and you can put them where you know, you know where they could tell, tell them to put them. The Allen mass shooting is the latest in a list of what seems like a monthly occurrence in the United States. Monday, while giving a border security update in Austin, Governor Greg Abbott took one question about the shooting. I believe in the coming days, the public will be much better informed about why and how this happened, and that will inform us as Texas leaders about next steps to take to try to prevent crimes like this from taking place in the future. But he did not address any gun legislation. <laughs> Protesters gathered inside the state capitol Monday on what was the deadline for House bills to pass committee. House Bill 2477 was filed in reaction to the mass shooting in Uvalde. The bill would raise the age from 18 to 21 for certain high-powered rifles. In a meeting called Monday, the Republican Majority Committee passed the bill 8 to 5. Two Republicans, including Rockwall Republican Justin Holland, voted with Democrats to push the bill through. State Senator Roland Gutierrez, a Democrat who has been critical of Governor Abbott since Uvalde, blamed incidents like the one in Allen on Republicans, claiming they made access easier for people who should not have guns. Don't tell people that the people that died in Allen, Texas, were mostly minorities. Don't have that conversation because I'm going to go down to the border and blame Biden for some bull that's not existent, right? We can talk about that, but that's not what today is about. Today is about the reality, and the reality is that we are in a more dangerous state because Republicans have made it more dangerous. We are in a more dangerous state because of loose gun laws. HB 2477 is not expected to become law and likely would not have made a difference in the 33-year-old Allen shooter obtaining a weapon because he's over 21. But some, including Republicans like Fort Worth Mayor Matty Parker, say it can be a bipartisan start to saving lives. Abbott joined the Allen Community Sunday for a vigil. He says he understands the urgent need for more answers, but did not speak to any gun reforms in his answer. They want to know right now why this happened, how it happened. And the investigators were unable to provide specifics at that time. So that bill has been passed out of committee, but now it goes before the calendars committee to decide when it'll be put on the calendar before the full house. Now, while house members appear to at least show some interest in hearing these bills, the Senate has not heard any gun related reform bills.